image of love for the smallest creature or insect that lives. If we study the qualities of the heart, we will find that the heart quality is a loving quality. It becomes the loving manner, the manner of God himself. And all such attributes as greatness, tolerance, gentleness, mercy, compassion spring from the heart. The great teachers and the great prophets of God, they did not become what they were by their miracles or their wonder workings. What was most apparent in them was their loving manner. Read the lives of the prophets. Look at the way Jesus Christ treated all of those who came to him. When the great sinners who were condemned and expelled from society, when they were brought to the master, he raised them up with his compassion. Jesus was on the side of the guilty accused ones. The fisherman with the master never understood him, nor could the most educated. Yet the master lived with all of them, and he won their hearts in the end. This was by the loving manner. So the first and most important thing that we all must try to understand is the cultivating of the heart quality. And there's only one way to cultivate the heart quality, and that is to become more and more selfless. Not selfish, but selfless. What prevents man from the loving manner is the thought of this self. And the more we think of self, the less we think of others until at the end of the journey in life, self meets us like a big giant. And a giant will prove to be the stronger. But with the first step we take, if we take it on the spiritual path, we struggle with this giant.